Jonathan Lucroy, obviously I'm from what pros wear, so we just focus on the gear and uh, you're, you know, a, a, a well a well-regarded catcher and I'm curious why you wear all-star glove why you wear all-star uh, gear I wear it because it's the best bottom line is I've, uh, I've used every type of gear in my career going back to high school I've uh -huh. been catching since I was 12 so very familiar with uh, catching gear and the way it works there's companies out there that try to copy what all-star does and so all-star manufactures a number of other uh, big companies catchers gear for them yep and um, just because they're the best and they make the best stuff. So uh, I've been with them since I came, since probably my second year in pro ball, I've been with All-Star. Before that, I was with another company and uh, their gear was brutal. And um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna get into that. But uh, after I came with these guys, they take care of me, they do a good job. They, uh, they have a number of major league players. Pretty much all the guys here use All-Star. Um, so it's uh, it's something that you really can't beat as far as catching gear goes. It's a small company, but it seems to have such they're not a, that small. Such a huge, but it has such a huge yeah. comparatively, but it's such a huge uh, following in, in in the big leagues and the minors. Yep. And oh. not only that, but youth baseball as well. A lot of youth baseball players wear All Star gear. Um, not only uh, just because of our pro we wear them, but their their protect their protective properties are probably the best in the league in terms of concussion prevention and yeah, the helmet um, well, everything. So so the helmet for you, uh, do you use a two-piece? I use, use two-piece and I use a custom uh, concussion, not concussion proof, but very right. concussion protective mask oh. that I use. It's probably the best protective mask you can get uh, in terms of concussion prevention, uh, which is big. You know, when the big leagues get guys from 100 mile an hour and you get a foul tip off your face mask, um, it's important to have the best protection you possibly can. Absolutely. And B45, you still swing in B45? Yeah, I be swing B45 bats. Um, Why do you like birch? Uh, I love birch. My model right here. Um, can you see it? It, yeah, it's, oh there it is, it's uh, JL20, yeah. yeah. So why, when, like when did you start swinging birch? And like, I've been swinging birch since far my rookie year. Really? Uh, yeah. And, oh uh, wow, so you're one of the, I mean that's, it's becoming more popular. Yeah, I started using it in the fall league. A guy from B45 came around and I started swinging it. He it was passing out bats in the fall league back in 2008. And uh, I started swinging it and I was like, man, you know, I, was, I had a maple bat that I was using and I was hitting balls oppo the warning track, you know, and I was, okay. So I, I picked up a birch bat, started swinging it. I started hitting home runs oppo and ball off the fence. I'm like, man, there's some, there's some extra carry there. I don't know why. Interesting. I don't know if it's the characteristics of the wood or, or what it is or if it's, if it's a mental thing. I don't know, but all I know is the ball, for me, the ball seems to fly better off with a birch bat. Some players have told me that there's actually like a break-in period with it. Yeah. Like like it gets better as you hit yeah, with it. Yeah, so I've, I have a bat at home that I've hit uh, for a long time. And uh, I've kind of just been saving it now. I don't use it much anymore. But uh, it actually has almost like a, an impression in it from the wood being compacted and getting harder. It's flatter? Mm -hmm. Wow.